break a little bit earlier today before we begin with the cross-examination of Dr. Kamengar. And Dr. Kamengar, rather than keep you waiting out here while I do my thing, uh, I'm going to excuse you and uh, remind you that you're not to discuss your testimony or the facts of the case with any other witness until the trial is over. I'm going to ask that you join us tomorrow at 8.45 a.m. Thank you. You can step down, sir. You're excused for the rest of the day. Thank you. You want to take your binder, please? Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before I provide you with the all-important adjournment instructions, I want to let you know that because of scheduling-related issues, we are not going to require your presence on Friday. I mentioned to you at the beginning of the trial that oftentimes there are scheduling issues, and this Friday is one of them. Both parties in this case, both the people and the defense, have requested that we not be in session on Friday because of witness scheduling issues from the standpoint of both sides, and I've indicated to them that that request is entirely reasonable. I hope uh, you have things to do on Friday. Now that you know you have the day off, you don't get the all-important uh, $15 of juror pay, which is an insult, and I apologize for it. But uh, if uh, you want to go to work, by all means go to work. If you have uh, other business or professional-related obligations, undertake them. If you have personal obligations, by all means undertake them as well. I just became aware of this, or I would have let you know a little bit earlier. So your services will not be required on Friday. However, your services will be required tomorrow, so please do uh, visit us tomorrow. I am going to be delivering to you these all-important admonitions. Please do not discuss this case among yourselves or with anyone else, or form or express any opinions about the case until it is submitted finally to you. Do not visit any scene or location that may have been referenced, mentioned, or involved in this case. Don't perform any experiments or on your own or through another person, conduct any independent investigation of the facts, the law, persons, top topics, or subjects mentioned or involved in the case. Don't access, view, listen to, or otherwise observe any television or radio programs, newspaper or magazine articles, or books related to any of these topics, subjects, or persons. Do not on your own or through another person access any internet website regarding any topics or subjects or persons mentioned or involved in the case, including but not limited to any search engine sites such as Google, Ask, or Bing, or social networking sites, including but not limited to Facebook or MySpace, or access or post any texts or tweets, access any blogs, or post any messages on any site regarding any topics, subjects, or persons mentioned or involved in the case. Please have no contact or communication whatsoever with the defendant, the attorneys, the witnesses, or the spectators. If someone approaches you or otherwise tries to uh, engage in communication with you regarding any topics or subjects or persons mentioned or involved in the case, immediately end that conversation or communication and uh, immediately advise us. Uh, these are very, very important uh, instructions, and I certainly expect that you will follow completely these instructions and admonishments and that includes the written admonishments, uh, uh, and you each have a copy of those admonitions. Do all of you continue to assure and promise us that you will follow all of these instructions? All indicating the affirmative. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to ask that you join us at 8.45 uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, again, please come tomorrow, but please don't come on Friday. And uh, we'll be with you in just a few minutes. Have a good night. We're recessed. Thank you.